It kind of reminds me a little bit of a yingling, traditional yingling, but it tastes better. So, uh, <laughs> can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. And welcome back to the beer garden where we're having a bit of a winter storm. In case you can't tell, the snow and sleet have let up a little bit, so we just had to come out here and have a beer. And up this round, another overwhelming fan request, uh, and uh, my hat is an homage to Texas. I've got the Stetson on because we're going down to Shiner, Texas for Shinerbach. Now, uh, Shinerbach... Uh, weighs in at 4.4% alcohol, very low IBUs, and I love a good German-style beer, so this one should be right up my wheelhouse alley. Uh, however, I haven't had Scheinerbach in a long time, and I just remember it kind of being meh, you know, a long, long time ago. And I've got a good friend of mine named Paul who just went nuts over Scheinerbach when I lived in New Jersey, and uh, but you couldn't get it in New Jersey, so he would have to drive to Delaware, get a couple cases, and bring it back to New Jersey. He just loved the stuff. And I tried it once or twice, and I'm just like, eh. Yeah. But again, it's been a long time since I've had it, so uh, it, I'd be getting more and more requests for Scheinerbach. And so I was like, you know what? Let's give it a go. Of course, Scheinerbach is uh, the big brew for the small brewery. It's, it's year-round. Uh, usually, Bach beer, uh, at least the German Bach beer, is usually reserved for the colder months. And, well... Hey, this should pair perfectly. Uh, of course, this is the goat edition. Bach means uh, a goat or sort of a, a, a ram, a, a male, uh, how do you say, uh, goat. Like a, like a billy goat. Yeah, that's what Bach means. There's a bit of a mystery about where that came from. Some say it has to do with the Bavarian dialect and uh, Einbeck didn't uh, translate quite as well. Or somebody misheard it, Einbeck, and so they misinterpreted it as Bach. And so, eh, they went with it. So usually when you see a Bach beer, it has um, a, a goat on it. That looks more like a mountain goat or a mountain sheep. I don't know why they have that there, but uh, that's why you typically see the goat. All right, enough of the backstory. Uh, let's twist off the top and see what we got. Of course, one of my signs, first signs of a cheap beer, if you're cheap brew has a twists off cap then it is cheap 7.99 six pack i think uh for shiner bach removing the my beer glass deckle off the uh just keeping the snow out of it of course the sold out beer snobs cheap brew review pint glass let's give it a pour shall we never touching the beer bottle to the glass it's bad beer etiquette to touch the beer bottle to the glass so always keep it separate from it. That's what I have been taught, and it sounds kind of quirky and weird, but I kind of like it. So here we are. It's absolutely freezing. There we go, a nice color. Um, I'm wondering with Scheinerbach if they use some artificial caramel coloring, as a lot of cheap breweries do. Encouraging uh, head, soapy around the edges, but a bit frothy in the middle. So it doesn't look too bad. So. Coming up, I'm going to rate Scheinerbach out of five stars, five being a very good cheap brew. What will I rank it? Well, it's time for the liquid to hit the lips, and as always, I don't want to drink alone, so grab yourself a beer. Let's go. Cheers. Or Prost. Okay, that's a cold beer. It's probably gonna skew my, oh, it's probably gonna skew my uh, review of it somewhat when it comes to the taste, or not, I don't know. Uh, I did get a bit of a nuttiness uh, right off the top. Sort of a nutty note, almost a pecan. Check out uh, one of my other reviews for Shiner. I think it was the holiday one where they brewed it with peaches and uh, pecans. It was really good. Oh, I got a burp. I'm waiting on the burp. Uh, so I do taste a bit of a, a, a roasted nuttiness, and surprising to me, I was anticipating that cheap metallic mid-tongue taste I usually talk about with the really cheap beers. Uh, maybe it's just because it's uh, we're in the middle of a winter storm, it's freezing, and the beer is just as cold as it looks here. 
uh, but I don't get any of that mid-tongue cheapness. Well, Scheiderbach, it tastes a lot better than I remember it tasting. And I had, like, I've, it's probably been 15 years since I had the last Scheinerbach. And I, I was just so underwhelmed by it, I never even approached it again. But, wow, that's, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, very little IBUs. I think they cranked it up, what is it, around 14? I think the label said 4.4% alcohol. Eh, the alcohol could be a, a little higher. I mean, in your traditional Bach beers, uh, the German Bachs pride their higher alcohol content, and this is virtually a session beer at 4.4%, uh, which is all right. I mean, uh, you could uh, you do more with your day when you have a few of these, so, you know, that's important as well. Uh, there's no bitterness, no cheap aftertaste, not offensive at all. Uh, don't be intimidated by the color of it. It is sort of a root. My black gloves are throwing it off. Almost like a, a bit of an, I'm not going to say an Irish red, because it's not red, but it is a very deep coppery color. If you remember back years and years ago, Labatt had a Labatt copper I had when I was in Michigan, and uh, that was really good. Uh, but this is a uh, very balanced beer, good flavor, and uh, I'm still waiting to burp. Where's the burp? Oh, it's getting hung up right there. Oh, it's getting hung up. I got the I got the burps hung up. Oh, this happened one time before. Go ahead and comment below. I'm drinking the beer too fast. I know, that's just the way I drink the beer. And while I'm waiting to burp, please tap that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. We're all the way to 2K, 2,000 subscribers are our next uh, goal. And uh, please share as much as you can this video. And, and please like and subscribe, regardless of the platform uh, you're watching this on. So out of five stars, five being a very good cheap brew, uh, hey, Shinerbach. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Yingling, traditional Yingling, uh, but it tastes better. Um, so, uh, <laughs> there we go. That was a long time coming. Amen. Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. I'm not going to give it a five because it, it feels like it's just lacking a little something. You know, I, I always want to leave room for improvement. So I'm not going to give you a five, but definitely going to put you at a four. <sighs> I may have to bump you up four and a half. I'm going to have to go maybe 4.65 out of 5 stars. Shinerbach. Dang, I'm going to have to get me some more of this stuff. Hey, I've got over 100 plus brew reviews here on this channel, so please check out some more of my brew reviews. It's a beautiful winter's storm here in the beer garden. Appreciate you watching and subscribing. And like I said, it's a beautiful day here in the beer garden. Don't just sit there. Go grab yourself a beer, and you drink that beer. Cheers.